Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps say they successfully launched the country's first military satellite into an orbit around Earth. This comes after Iran announced new anti-ship missiles with a range of 700 km and drones that have a range of 1,500 km and may be armed with anti-tank missiles. Iran is on steroids in its attempt to show off its military capabilities at sea, in the air and in space. Israel strongly condemned Iran's attempt to launch the military satellite, noting that the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, is a foreign terror organization, designated by the US. Today's attempt at launching a satellite is just a facade for Iran's continued development of advanced missile technology. Both intercontinental ballistic missiles, ICBMs, and missiles that can carry a nuclear warhead, a statement by the foreign ministry said. Today's launch is a breach both of Security Council's Resolution 2231, and Iran's previous commitments to the international community. The Iranian regime continues to focus its efforts on military aggression, instead of mending its failure in dealing with the coronavirus's outbreak, that has affected tens of thousands of Iran's citizens. Israel calls upon the international community to condemn this latest launch, and impose further sanctions on the Iranian regime. All in order to deter it from continuing such dangerous and opposing activity, Israel's statement said. Iran's growing confidence in space. The reports appear to illustrate Iran's growing confidence in space, and the ability to launch satellites is a point of pride for Iran. It is a symbolic event, just as it is an event with possible military overtones that threatens the region. The satellites themselves can be used for reconnaissance, and Iran's launchers may have wider applications. The use of different types of satellite launch vehicles is important. Iran developed the Zuljana SLV in recent years and has also used the Safir 2 SLV during a test in 2016. In June of this year, Iran said it was preparing to use the Zuljana solid fuel satellite launch rocket. They also claimed to fire three research cargoes into space last December. It's important to recall that recent tests have often failed. The SLV that was tested in June apparently went through several failed tests even though Iran says the Suljana can put a satellite weighing some 220 kilograms into orbit. The IRGC launched two satellites into low Earth orbit, LEO, in the last several years, the NOR in April 2020 and the NOR 2 in March 2022. Why are Iran's satellites different from all the others? LEO satellites orbit the Earth around a dozen times a day or more. This is in contrast to geostationary satellites that orbit at a range of some 35,800 kilometers. Over the equator and travel at the same speed as the Earth, 24 hours per orbit, so that they are relatively stationary. There are also satellites orbiting at altitudes between the LEO and geostationary satellites. There are thousands of satellites in orbit today, with almost 3,000 belonging to the US.
According to Space.com in 2020, there were 114 launches sending 1,000 new satellites to space. Thus, while Iran's program is a point of pride for the regime, it is not really very significant. After the 2015 nuclear deal, the IRGC launched missiles with Hebrew slogans written on them calling for wiping Israel off the map. The difference this time is that those who are negotiating and those who launch the missiles are not each other's political rivals. They both come from the heart of Iran's hardliner conservative camp. While monitoring agencies and foreign entities are closely following the moves on the ground, Iran has not been concealing its ambitions in space. Razi visited a space technology exhibition in Tehran on November 26 and asked officials to work on reaching the 36,000 km orbit around the Earth in four years. The likely blast off at Iran's Imam Khomeini spaceport comes as Iranian state media has offered a list of upcoming planned satellite launches in the works for the Islamic Republic's civilian space program, which has been beset by a series of failed launches. While missile and satellite launches in the previous years might have been aimed at disrupting negotiations over Iran's nuclear program. This time it appears that Iranian officials are mainly about to show off Tehran's technological progress and highlight the country's ballistic missile capabilities possibly to scare regional players. <laughs>